everyone welcome back I've got a mini haul for you today I didn't do a lot of hauls last year because I did sort of like an unofficial no buy I didn't really buy a lot last year um, but actually I asked in the co in a video recently in the past few months I've said you know I'm not sure how comfortable I am doing hauls do people really want to see them and I had uh, quite a few people comment to say yes they did want to see hauls and actually missed hauls so I want to show you this little mini haul this is just a few things that I picked up from Beauty Bay and Debenhams also picked a few bits up from Superdrug so um, there are there isn't a huge amount here because some of them are quite pricey items um, and usually I do buy a lot of drugstore but recently I've been really getting into some high-end products so I'll just make a start and show you what I've got the first thing is a palette and this is really not new but it's long awaited for me I wanted to be a hundred percent sure I wanted this palette because I do not need any more eyeshadows so really I, I can only buy palettes now of something that I really 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 want and that I think I'm gonna love um, because the necessity just isn't there it came in this lovely box like this it's the Too Faced Just Peachy Matte Palette um, and the packaging is just absolutely beautiful and you've got this little clasp detail here it's gold um, it only has a 12 month shelf life on it which is a little bit disappointing because Urban Decay shadows for example they say that they have 24 months on them but I just really do like the Too Faced formula um, they really are starting to become up there for me possibly my top favourite if not one of the top favourites um, you know high end brands and as a person who's hooded eyes I do use a lot of mattes I do like shimmers as well but I don't need as many shimmers as I do mattes so this would be a great accompanying palette for me to use up some of my um, shimmers I, I wish I could show you the mirror better but it's really good quality and it says Too Faced in black print there and they've got in the, their gorgeous usual font and the names of the shades are actually printed on the palette itself which I love so everything about this just scream, screams quality um, I don't like things displayed to be honest if you see things on my dressing table it's just because I'm being messy I don't actually like things displayed so I probably won't display it but it's a kind of thing that you could display it's just it's just stunning um, so I'll just show you the shades here now we've got uh, peach meringue which I've tried peach tea I have tried peach cobbler have tried and peach tart have tried then we've got peach butter which I haven't yet tried uh, just peachy I have tried uh, peach punch not yet tried I think that's more of a spring shade and then just ripe I have also tried peaches and cream yet yeah. fresh picked yes peach and Korea I've not tried yet chocolate dipped yes so I've tried most of them and I've got this palette on my eyes today I've got peaches and cream on uh, fresh picked um, and a little bit of chocolate dipped now I will say I don't uh, chocolate dipped is the only shade I don't like um, I don't know if it's just the way I'm using it I need maybe I need to try it with some other brushes uh, maybe it's a different primer I should try but um, I have a problem with this hooded section of my lid here uh, shadows adhering to it sometimes I'll blend and I have like a patch here I don't know if anybody ever watched Alicia, Alyssa Ashley's review of the Anastasia Be Beverly Hills um, subculture palette and she had this problem it was kind of like it wasn't patchy like not blendable it was patchy as in entire patches it wouldn't adhere do and it would when you put it on it it would you try to blend it would take the shadow off from underneath as well and just look really awful to the point where you know she, she felt like she had to take it off and start again this shade chocolate dip for some reason does that for me when I try and use it to deepen up the outer V it doesn't work and um, so that's the only thing at the minute I can say but peach tarts lovely and that that works as a deepening shade as well and it's actually warm I actually prefer that shade so out of the two as you can see on camera this is a bit more cool toned so yeah, I'm really enjoying this palette. Um, I'm going to try not to just exclusively use this palette because, you know, I have other stuff I do really need to use. Um, but that's just stunning and um, I've kept the packaging to show you. I don't usually keep the packaging, but, you know, I thought I'd just keep it till that's been hauled. So I got that. And it did come with this little... Um, just Peachy Matte's How To Glamour Guide um, with some ideas of some eye looks. So I will check that out. I haven't really had a read of that yet to be honest. And I absolutely love that peach range. I didn't get on with the foundation. I have tried that. I returned it. But the, the eyeshadow palette's gorgeous and I've always, always wanted one of their lipsticks. So instead of just because I've made myself wait so long, instead of getting one, I ended up getting three. So I got Undercover Lover flight risk and got peach so undercover lover is a lovely nude it's a really it's an absolutely stunning nude on fair to 
fair to light skin tone such as myself I can't comment on any other skin tone flat risk is quite cool toned um, it's like a, it's got more of like berry in it which I love it gets really really nice this time of year and then got peach I haven't yet tried yet but that's a lot warmer and um, that was the one I wanted the most I'm really excited to try that so I've got those three peach kiss lipsticks I'll show you the one I haven't tried yet because the bullet then you can still get an idea um, of what it looks like. The other one has, the other two have had the imprint rubbed off because of the fact that I've used them. But I'll show you this one. It has the Too Faced um, TF font on the end of the bullet and then it has like little peaches on the side. Smells like peach. Uh, it's like a comfort moisture matte formula and it is that. It, it's a gorgeous formula. I'm going to show you a lipstick next that I bought from Anastasia Beverly Hills and I prefer this formula and they were both the same price. The packaging on this is at quite actually quite similar to the uh, ABH one but nicer in my opinion, just more looks and just lovely. So it's a white packaging with gold font and a gold end. I was told that they used to have like a little clasp here to match the eyeshadow palette but it looked too much like somebody else's so they had to stop doing that I don't know but it's also got Too Faced written in black lettering down the side of the bullet there and then the end has the colour of the lipstick which I think is just an absolutely fantastic idea so that's different depending on what shade you've got and then it's got a little sticker with the shade as well and this is the shade just uh, just peachy got peach got peach so yeah, I'm just in love. I just I'm obsessed with those lipsticks at the minute. I haven't got them on today. I've got the ABH one on with um, my Revlon lip butter over the top. If you've watched my intro to my project pan of 2019, then you'll know what combination this is. So I'm going to show you um, the Anastasia Beverly Hills one next, and this is the shade Peachy. So I'll show you the packaging for this. It's it feels similar but less weighty so it feels nice but it feels cheaper than the Too Faced one um, it's got the, the, set, uh, gate, the gold there the same um, but it's black instead of white um, it's got the little gold ABH sign there and it's just a plain bullet um, so it, it was they're both the, all these lipsticks were £18 each um, this one doesn't have the shade on it either and it's the shade Peachy I have it on today um, and I'll just so you can get um, in fact I'll swatch it for you so you can have an idea of the shade on its own it is also a lovely lovely nude um, it's actually not as peachy as I was expecting it to be with the name peachy um, but it's beautiful it is it is have a peach undertone to it I've decided to swatch all the lipsticks for you so you can see them side by side from each other that's the ABH uh, peachy lipstick that's Flight Risk by Too Faced from the Peach Collection. That one is Undercover Lover and that one is the um, Got Peach. So I'm just going to show you the couple of skincare products I picked up from Beauty Bay. I really wanted this The Ordinary 1% in uh, Squalene because I've been using the 0.5% in Squalene which I've really enjoyed. I'm just over half the way finished with that and I feel like I am starting to become ready to move up to a more concentrated formula so I picked that up and at the same time I really wanted to try a product with vitamin C in it so I bought the Ordinary uh, Vitamin C Suspension 23% with HA Spheres at 2% so this is water free silicone silicone free. I do like silicone free products, I really do, and not just for my hair as a curly girl but in general for my skin as well um, and so I'm really excited to try that and I haven't tried it yet. And then the last three bits were just from um, Superdrug, so they were having a three for two and I really wanted, because I saw it on Jordana Vargas's channel, uh, which I love, and this L'Oreal 2-in-1 um, Mascara Primer, so I got three of those because it was three for two, they were 11 99 each. Um, but as I say you bought two and you got one free so it works out at a discount and they also sent me a free gift of this L'Oreal multi-masking kit so I think at least one or two of these I've already tried but it'll be nice to try the other one and um, yeah so I'm pleased to try that and that's everything I got as I said it was a very mini haul um, but price wise you know I probably spent overall for this haul what I would spend if on a much bigger haul if I was buying everything drugstore because there's quite a few high end products in it hope you enjoyed it let me know in the comments you know are you happy with the haul do you want more hauls do you not like hauls tell me what you think about hauls because I feel like this year on YouTube is the year of the no buy and so I don't although I'm not I, I sort of 
been there done that got the t-shirt for that one officially last year and I'm not in that place necessarily this year I also don't want to offend anyone um, loads of people you know with hauls if everyone's in that place so tell me what you think about it and give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video subscribe if you're not already and have a great day see you soon guys bye